Hey everybody, horticulturist Gary Bachman, time for another daily dose of hort. Well, one of the projects that I have done through the years that has generated, oh my gosh, a lot of interest is propagating Confederate Rose. Confederate Rose is a classic pass along plant that is just has beautiful blooms that transition in colors from pinks to whites in the, in the fall of the year. And it has been the, um, I was going to say the, you know, the classic way to propagate that plant in the fall is to take cuttings and just dump them and pop them into a bucket of water and forget about them and come back like six to eight weeks later and see if they've rooted. Well, this spring, I had my Confederate rose out back. And I don't know, maybe you can kind of see it. You know, let's see, it's over the top of Harden here. He's in the back there. Was really getting overgrown and I needed to prune it back. And so I pruned a bunch of branches back and I was looking at them thinking, I've never heard of anybody trying to propagate these in the spring. Who knew? So I, I took the, the cuttings, I put them in a, you know, a big, you know, one gallon jar, you know, bald you know, canning jar. And you wanna know something? They actually rooted a whole lot better and quicker than in the fall of the year. I, I was really impressed with that. I mean, it's really a function of this is really, this is really young tissue. This is all this season's growth tissue. But I want, I want to tell you, I don't know if you guys, oh, sorry about that. If you guys can look in there and see how many rooted cuttings I've got that was really darn easy. So there's a tip, you know, if you have always wanted a Confederate rose and you know somebody that's got one, you know, knock on the door, ask if you can take a couple cuttings because I want to tell you something. I think I got 100% rooting on this. So, so chances that you'll root it very easily you know, and successfully, you know, are, are pretty good. The way you do it, cut it, big jar of water, big bucket of water, set them in there and let them go. I did these, I cut these on, oh, I want to say May 5th is when, it, when I did that. It was beginning of May, did that, and this is what happens. So now I've got to pot these up and we'll see, see what happens as they grow on through the year. So quick tip for you. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time on another Daily Dose of Hort.